Hello and welcome to a new episode of Let's Talk. This is a special edition because we are going to talk about the new Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. Yes, Google is coming back with some impressive phones. Thanks to John Prosser we got some really impressive renders based on real life photos. Stay with me to find out more. By the way, if you aren't subscribed yet, you can just hit that subscribe button right there and uh, you will make me happy. Thanks. So again, it looks like we have some renders based on some real life photos about the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. These designs look pretty premium and they have nothing to do with the Pixel 5 lineup. Google has been playing a lot of the Pixel phones design in a couple of generations, but it looks like finally we are going to get something amazing, some new fresh design, and this is for a reason. I will come back to this later in this video. So first of all, as we can see, there is the Pixel 6, which is obviously smaller, and the Pixel 6 Pro, which is a larger device. As we can see, they are dropping the Excel namings, and uh, maybe this is a good thing. Unfortunately, we do not have a spec sheet of these devices, so if we do not know for sure if there are any differences between the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro in terms of processor, display and features. What do we know for sure is that Pixel 6 will feature two cameras and the Pixel 6 Pro will have three cameras. As I told you, we cannot know for sure what kind of cameras we are getting with the Pixel 6 lineup. We could obviously guess, but I think it's not the moment yet. I think that the time will solve this issue. So this means that Google is back in business and something like the real question is why? And yeah, that's, that's a good question. And thanks to 9to5Mac and John Prosser who reminded me about this, Google is making their own silicon. This means that Google is making their own chips. And if I'm thinking about the company like Google, I mean it's a huge one. I cannot think about bad processors, so it's most probably this new design, the refresh design, it's going to give the people the sensation that this is something new, because actually it is. So this means that Google is back in business and most probably they will have a new processor in their phones. And this will going to be the GS101, which comes from the Google Silicon 101. So if you are looking at the chips like this, actually makes total sense. Google is trying to revive their phones from this mid-range category. They are trying to make a refreshed look, something new, something which was never so before. I mean, maybe the colors, but in terms of design, it's something brand new from Google. As we can see on the image, we have some really, really slim bezels, a small camera cutout and most probably an in-display fingerprint sensor. Also, the rear camera is looking futuristic, new. So Google is really trying to say something. Anyways, let me know what do you think about this. Would you buy a new Google phone? Would you buy a refreshed phone with the new silicon? I mean, people are doing this with the new M1 MacBooks and... Mac products and tablets and so I guess why not actually honestly I really love this design and I think that Google will do a pretty good job well I'm looking to change my form and uh, this may be a variant thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and don't forget the subscribe button is just one click away from you thanks again and let's talk soon